friends, it's Lisa. Welcome and thank you for checking out another one of my videos. Today I have a planner related video and it is a planner called Ink Volt or Ink and Volt, not really sure. But in this envelope, I have a planner that I will be unboxing and giving my first impressions for later in this video. But first I just wanted to talk about the planner and my experience with it so far. Right here I have the 2017 calendar year planner and I've been using it throughout the year and I really like this planner and I I apologize if you hear my dog snoring and I apologize also if you hear the pure radiance candle that I have on my table. Okay, back to business. So I have been using this calendar throughout the year. I primarily used it a lot during the first half of the year, and then once I moved, I kind of misplaced it, and then I rediscovered it earlier in October, and I've really been trying to utilize it. <laughs> Milo, please. <laughs> so anyway, this planner is by a company, like I said, it's called Ink Volt or Ink and Volt, and you can find them online at inkenvolt.com. You can also find them via their Instagram and their Facebook. And what I really enjoy about this planner is that unlike the Happy Planners and the Erin Condren's and Ashley Shelley's, this planner I feel like is a very blank neutral planner. I feel that this planner is friendly for either gender, male or female, and I feel like you could use this planner in a personal life setting, but you could also use it professionally if you needed it. Now, I bought this planner. I say I bought it. I picked it out and received it as a gift for this year. And at the time, this black cover was the only option that they offered. They have since evolved and added more colors into their collection. But what I really liked about this planner, I'm just going to open it up, is that uh, they're all about goals and achievements. So basically, uh, I mean, this is a little bit embarrassing, but it had the 2017 theme. Um, what I wanted my theme to be was reinvention. I was probably watching Beyonce or Oprah or something inspiring. Um, but I wanted to lose 25 pounds, get a new job, save money for a house, and then actually run in the Turkey Trot 5K that I like to do. And then you could do uh, like achievements. But this planner is really a goal-oriented planner. It's really a planner that you can have your yearly goals, and then as you go into each month, there's monthly goals, and then even each week, there are weekly goals. So I'm just gonna go and flip through, and I wanna just maybe find something that doesn't have personal information. All right, so um, this is November. I have something actually written in every single month. So uh, this is upcoming for November. As you can see, you have your monthly, your monthly spread, and then it breaks down into um, your November goals. So my goals for November are to create Christmas cards. What I mean by that is um, I want to get my dog to take a really adorable picture. I want to actually order them, then I want to make my list, I want to make an October's candle empties video, and I want to make an uh, October body care empty video. So those are my goals. And then because October has 30 days, excuse me, November, uh, it has like a 30 day November challenge. For the next 30 days I want to, I want to make this happen because my plan of action. And then it has a list of days that you could check off, and you can actually sign to kind of hold yourself accountable for whatever your goals are gonna be. And, all right. So, another thing I liked about the 2017 planner is that before each week, it would ask you a question and you can kind of go off of that question and really, you know, dig deep to kind of inspire yourself. And then on the other page, they would have your weekly goals for each week reflect and celebrate, and then a review of your yearly, monthly, last week's progress, and your 30-day challenge. So also, besides monthly goals, 
each month had a challenge for the amount of days that were in that month. So let's say you want to go to the gym. You want to um, write in a journal. You could do those monthly goals and that's where you would want to use that check box. And then the spread, let's see, I actually have stuff written on that one. So this was what the 2017 calendar year spread looked like. Ink Volt had vertical only and they had it so it was morning, noon, and night, which actually wasn't something that I was crazy about. And earlier in the year when their Instagram page was looking for feedback about what people might want to see changed in the future planners. I did actually comment this morning, noon, and night. I don't mind that it's boxes, but I don't have to do something every morning. I don't have to do something every noon or afternoon time and evening. I write things as I write them, and I felt that putting the time period in each box was kind of restrictive and then also mentally made me feel like I had to have something to do during those time periods. And then you had your weekends, Saturdays and Sundays. And then you had a few pages for notes. And then you had a pocket in the back. So that in an overall gist was the 2017 planner. And as I said before, I really liked this because it was neutral. I felt like whereas the happy planners, the iron condrons might skew female and kind of cutesy with the personalized covers and the crazy rainbows and pictures. Um, this is more of a planner that you could just do pen to paper. You don't feel like you have to do stickers or washi. And I feel like it's accessible to everyone. So I really thought this planner was great. And so I wanted to get a new one for 2018. My dad does buy me um, a planner every year as part of my Christmas gift and it's a tradition and so I wanted to have him get me this planner for 2008 now excuse me 2018 now I'm just on their website on my phone uh, currently they have their signature series and it's going to be $40 and you will see it comes in three colors it comes in black gray and a bluish color and if you go scroll down a little more they also have now the 2018 limited edition series for five extra dollars for forty five dollars and it comes in a wide variety of colors um, it looks like they come in a ash fire red I think that was indigo plum spruce and this blue one is powder blue and basically the difference is that these planners um, come in a, a wide variety of colors and I believe the limited edition supposedly has a linen type texture kind of like an old school book that you might check out from the library which that was another thing I really enjoyed about this planner. The fact that it feels like a, it just feels like a book I want to cozy up to. Like I love planning with like a cup of coffee or something like that. I feel like it's really great and portable. So I'm going to go ahead and open this. This came priority mail. The package, I mean this is not them, but you know it came a little bit roughed up. But uh, it did have their little sticker on it. And I ordered this on a Saturday and it came in on a Wednesday, it got delivered. Which makes sense because if this is priority two day mail, that means they probably got the order processed and sent out on Monday and I got it Wednesday. All right, so I just opened up the envelope and this was what came inside. Ooh, ooh, this is so pretty. All right, so let me go ahead and take this plastic off. There's something about the red that just drew me towards it. I personally love purple as a color. I, 
I actually say I'm a rainbow person. I love all colors, but I tend to skew purple. So at first I thought I was going to get the plum, but then there was something about the spruce green that was really intriguing. But there is just something about this beautiful red. And as you can see now that I took the plastic off, it's a matte and it is like a linen type of material. It feels so nice. Oh, and I don't know right now through my camera viewfinder if it's picking up how vibrant this beautiful red cover really is. Um, my actual first car, I had a Volkswagen Jetta that was tornado red, and it was this color. I don't know why tornadoes are red, but it's this beautiful cover color. So I think there was a card I saw popping up. Okay, so let's see. This card came inside. And I'm just going to go ahead and read it closer to my eyeballs. Today is the big day. Today you are one step closer to reaching your goals. It is the day you get to start your Inkvolt planner. This is going to be your year. I, meaning the creator, Kate. Um, I'm just going to say Kate. Design a system to be flexible and adapt to your lifestyle. I want this to be the place for your ideas and dreams and the roadmap to your success. Whether you use it for your career, personal improvements, health goals, or projects, this planner can be one of your most helpful tools on your journey. And then for help for getting started and making the most of your planner, there's a guide on their website and it just says, I know you're going to accomplish great things. And they also offer a free newsletter with lots of tips, advice, and smart ideas to help you be your best, which is really cool. Um, I don't know if I mentioned it when I was going over the 2017, but not only do they have those yearly goals and the monthly goals and the check-ins and the weekly goals, I do feel like having a place to write down your goals, I'm a very task-oriented person and there's just something very, um, feels really good about crossing off something and getting it done. So that's another reason why I like this planner. So now we're just going to get into the first impressions and flip through. So it's beautiful cardstock. So I'm probably just going to do a lot of throwback comparisons. So this is the calendar at a glance for the new planner. And you're going to get a whole year of 2018 and then also 2019. Whereas the original planner just had that current year. I like that. And so already I can see it looks like the font and everything has changed. It's more streamlined, I guess. Um, smaller font, I guess more clean, I would want to say. Um, but it says, bring your year into focus. What do you want to leave behind this year? What are the things you want to learn about this year? Books you want to read? How will you improve yourself in the year ahead? What would it look like if this year went by perfectly? What would you have, be, or do? And then here's the area that I can write my theme. And then write my yearly goals. And then we go, okay, we go right into our month at a glance. And it looks like this year they shaded the weekends so that I know the difference between Sundays and Saturdays versus the business days. Then there's an area for your focus and your notes. Okay, and then we're going into January and has my January goals. This month I will, then some, this is like a dot graph area. And then here's the area I can do my 31 day challenge for the next 31 days I want to. I wanna make this happen because my plan of action is, I fully intend to commit myself to this for the next 31 days. And that information would change based on however many days of the month there are a place for you to sign and date if you want to hold yourself accountable and then a check area to check off the actual days that you complete those tasks. And then this page changes each week. There's always a different question. This one is, what are some of the ways you can make the next 12 months incredibly awesome? And then you can go into your weekly goals, reflect and celebrate, which is always nice because I don't think as I don't, I think as a person speaking for myself, I don't tend to look at my achievements and be proud of them. Like I could do something really great or something that I should be proud of and totally embrace. And it's just like, 
okay, yeah, that happened. And really, I should be proud of myself that, yeah, I got that done. So I do think it's awesome that they have this area to put reflect and celebrate because, you know, maybe one day I will run that 5K and instead of just being like, okay, whatever, that's an achievement. I need to reflect and celebrate it. Or for example, I just got a new job and I'm really excited, but I'm not like, like raving about it, but really I need to like reflect and celebrate it. So, I mean, that's the kind of thing that you should be putting there. Just, it could be little, it could be big, it could be whatever you want. And then there's a review area, your yearly goals, your monthly goals, your last week progress, your 31 day challenge. And they did change the monthly, excuse me, the weekly view, which I really enjoy. So here is a weekly outlook from the old planner. As you can see, it's much more bold in terms of the lines. The boxes have those little gaps and they all say morning, noon, and night. This one, the boxes are all together. There's no spacing. The lines aren't as bold of a color. And as you can notice, it only says morning, noon, and night in the Monday box, and it's kind of grayed out, so it doesn't necessarily stand out. And so I like this a little bit more because I feel like I could write stuff down and not feel restricted into, well, this is a morning thing, this is a noon thing, this is an evening thing. So I do really like that. And so it will go into this again. So you keep doing your weekly outlook, then you go into February. And so it kind of just would go through the whole entire year like that with the different weekly goals and things like that. Um, and then I don't believe they had this in the other planner. They didn't. All right, so something that they have in this planner that they didn't have in the last planner is the ability to look back at the past year in order to have a crazy successful year, it helps to take inventory of the last year. By reflecting upon what went well and what didn't, you can gain valuable insights to help you with what's to come. And so then it has spaces. What was the best thing that happened this year? What accomplishment are you most proud of? What were your goals this year that you achieved? Were there things you wanted to do but didn't? And then here's a place to put all of your 2018 achievements that you get to list. So basically it says write about your achievements right after they happen. Include enough detail to learn from your success so you can make it happen again. It gives you spots for five achievements. And then the dates, which I think is really cool. Because as I said earlier, I don't think we, some of us, we don't really take stock in our achievements and what we are able to do. And we really need to be able to celebrate them and remember how we got there. And then the back of the planner there's some dot grid paper. It's faint enough that you could use the dots, but you could also use these pages for whatever you want. And the back of the planner has this neat pocket. And then also, let me just take them out. This planner also comes with The two bookmark ribbons. This one has a red and then also like a grayish white color. And so that is the planner. Uh, that was my really brief flip through and my first impression is I like it. I knew what I was getting into before I ordered it which is why I am like all on board to use this planner in the upcoming 2018 year. This is something that I definitely will be using personally but then I could also I probably wouldn't use it for work at all just because I believe in keeping a separation and you know I wouldn't want to ever bring stuff home and take stuff to work you know what I mean but I could totally see myself if I wanted to using this only as a work planner as well so if you want any more additional information about the planner please check out their website that is inkandvolt.com you can also check out their Instagram, and they also have a Facebook page. If you liked this planner flip through, brief description, please think about giving this video a thumbs up and subscribing. And until next time, I hope you guys all stay well. Bye.